This is TJ with RV on Purpose. And uh, after our fire, we uh, were blessed to be able to put in a small solar system. Uh, what I mean by small is it's nowhere near what we would like it to be um, because this stuff gets expensive very fast. But I can tell you that I'm really excited about what we have going on here. So um, what's really cool is right now, as we speak, I'm actually charging my laptop. Um, I wasn't able to do that before, uh, mainly off of the sun. Right now I'm running our fridge, our fridge inside here, and I'm running our fridge outside, all on the one solar panel that's up above right now. We only have two batteries. Um, which isn't a lot, but uh, it's been working out pretty well for us. Even if we have to run the generator for an hour at a time, it's working out really well. So I'm going to take you guys outside here in a moment and show you the setup. All right, everybody. So outside here, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this or not, but uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. We only really have one panel up on the roof right now. Um, that one panel is uh, is really um, 305 watts. Um, the most we've been able to see out of it is like 200, 220, um, somewhere in there. So uh, that, that's been cool, but it's just one panel. But imagine if I had a bunch of panels up there. We can pretty much run everything on the bus except for the air conditioners and the electric furnaces. Um, but these are big units, they're 220 units. Uh, so that's the reason why um, we could certainly put in a uh, another um, another inverter uh, and, and be able to run those. But uh, right now, we just wanted a basic system to be able to run the basic things. And it's working out great for us. So let me t show you kind of what we've got under here. I'm going to... All right. So we have the Multi Plus 2 here, 3000. And uh, so that's a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, these things are just amazing what they can do. Um, we ended up going with two 100 amp hour battle born batteries, 12 volt batteries. Um, we also installed a uh, transfer switch back there. That's really neat. It's almost as fast as uh, it, you can't even tell when you lose power from shore power or the generator. Um, it's almost immediate that it switches over and uh, it's really handy it's really something that we're really glad that we put in and then we also put in the solar controller charger uh, that's also Bluetooth uh, that that allows us to see what's going on with the uh, with the solar panel um, <clears throat> right now we only have one solar panel like I mentioned and we'd like to get more but then we also put in the surge guard protector. Um, that checks all the wiring uh, wherever we are to make sure that everything's wired right, that we're not having bad power into our unit. And then we also got this really nice um, Victron bus bar um, that we ins had installed as well. And uh, that's basically the system. Uh, it's, uh, it's a neat system. It's pretty simple. Um, we can add more batteries down the road um, if we want. Um, and uh, so far it's working really good. It's running our fridges. It's running all of our lights, uh, microwave, hair dryer, um, you know, pretty much anything. Um, even my smoker. Uh, it runs my smoker, which is an electric smoker. Um, it doesn't run this water heater over here, but that thing is drawing a lot of juice so other than that and the acs and the heat um it's really it's it's working out great we're really happy with it yeah and i'm actually uh looking at getting trained to install these things uh, so if you know anybody uh, that needs a system installed on their rig um, we'd be glad to help them with it um, i think there's a a lot of opportunity down the road with this um, really helps people get off grid just being out if you ever lose power you always have power um, it's just a really handy thing to be able to have on your unit so let us know TJ with RV on purpose